Hey guys, Neri here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you with a new Let's Play episode of Tennessee Shuichi's Path. So guys, I'm thinking of actually uh, replacing uh, Hero's Advent with just another route for Tennessee. Um, I'm, I'm think I'm gonna do. Um, I think I'm going to do Kasuk, Then I'm going to do June. Then I'm going to do Haruki. So that way I can bring more Tennis Ace content to you guys every day, because you guys seem to love it. But anyway, guys, let's jump right back in, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes while entertaining, and let's jump right in. Alarm Chain, you are up, and let's go. And forgive me if I'm drinking coffee during this. I'll try to be as quiet as I can. <clears throat> okay. A bit better, but I did re A bit better, but after I did, I realized it wasn't that big of a deal, and it doesn't bother me much anymore. Anything, you being so coy and panicky over it is the thing getting me to freak out right now. Oh, uh -huh. Oh, <clears throat> it's not like I'm asking you to show it to me or anything. Just don't freak out so much about it. I sit back down next to Shuichi, looking down at the table and feeling my face burning. Are you okay? I didn't mean to make you feel so self-conscious. I'm sorry. I'm fine, I'm just feeling a bit embarrassed. I feel something soft against my cheek, realizing a second late that I had been kissed. Thanks for the help today. Now I get to actually have time to spend with you. I hope I wasn't a bother. Not at all. You could never be a bother. I love you, you. Shuichi grabs my hand, squeezing it tightly, nuzzling my cheek with his nose. Hey, can I get a kiss? Here? We're alone, aren't we? Why not? No one can see inside, either. Uh, okay. <laughs> Smooch that man. Smooch that man. Shuichi slowly leans into me, and I close my eyes in anticipation of it. I feel his lips touching against mine, very gently and slowly at first. Once they come fully into contact with each other, Shuichi wraps an arm around my waist and pulls me in as close as he can, given our positions on these two chairs. Our lips smack against each other. Shuichi teases my lower lip with the teeth of his teeth, with the tip of his teeth, with the, so the teeth of his teeth, the tip of his teeth, but still never does more than that. The kiss doesn't last long, and he soon pulls away from me, smiling from ear to ear. Oh man, I suddenly feel the energy to go rest, to go the rest of the day without complaints. Yeah, it was a pretty nice. I didn't realize how much I wanted to kiss him until I just did. Shuichi, Urata-san, I'm done for the day. Do you need to? A weasel walks into the room, looking at the table and seeing both Shuichi and I. As soon as the door opened, the two of us jumped apart, looking nervously at the door. Oh, did you actually get a volunteer to help you? Y yeah we actually finished all the paperwork a few minutes ago. You don't have to stick around. Close, seriously? That was fast. I thought you said it would take you until the end of the day to do them. Y yeah but uh, we had two volunteers to help, and one of them was a really fast worker, so I actually got things done in record time. Pretty neat, huh? I'm gonna go text the other members telling them work is done for the day once they finish their assignments. Everyone was talking about coming over if they got done early to help you. That's sweet of you guys. Thankfully, everything is already done. Go on, you guys worked really hard to put up the festival together. Just enjoy whatever you can of it. Alright, see you next week, Prez. See ya. See ya. Pretty safe to say the mood just... tanked. Yeah. Well, did you manage to calm down at least? If so, we can do something together. Yeah, the shock took care of it pretty quickly. Do you have any plans where you... Do you have any plans where we can go? Well, I know what most of the displays and whatnot in the school are. I've been in charge of their paperwork, after all. Great. Anything fun or interesting? There are a few I wanted to visit. I didn't think I'd have the time to, but it could work out. Sure. Lead the way. Are you sure? Don't you have any places you'd like to go? I've been roaming the festival on my own since day one. I've already f visited a lot of places. I'd like to just... I'd like to just let you take the lead and have fun if that's all If that's all right. Heh. <laughs> Certainly. Certainly more than all right. I don't mind taking the lead. Great, when are we going to go? Well, the cooking club has a master class going on. It could be fun. Master class? Oh, no. Yeah, I was supposed to be taken in pairs, but they teach you a lot of neat stuff. I thought it, I thought it would be a fun thing for us to do together. Yay, let's go poison the school. It'll be wonderful. <laughs> I see. My life is forfeit, isn't it? When we reached the cooking club's room, there were quite a few people hanging out outside the door and chatting as if they were waiting for something. Shuichi took off his glasses before we left the student council room, which I found to be a bit of a pity. He looks pretty handsome in those. A single girl is sitting on a chair next to the door with an apron and a clipboard. Hi, are you a member of the club? The girl, a canary, smiles at us and nods, getting up from her seat. Yes, are you two here to sign up for our master class? We are. Are there still any openings? Only a few left for the class starting in ten minutes. We're cleaning the kitchen right now after the last class finished up. That's great. How much is the cost? It's 4,000 yen for the class. That covers the cost of materials, the cleaning after, etc. Will that be all right? Sure, no problem. Kuichi pulls out his wallet and fishes out and fishes out two two thousand yen dollar bills. Two thousand yen bills. 
Hang on, you're not paying all of it by yourself. Why not? It's not a big deal. The girl, the girl happily takes the money. One second, guys. Let me drink my coffee. Oh, man. That is espresso roast with a bit of sugar and uh, just a little bit, a little bit of Mexican chocolate spicy ice cream. Guys, if you've never mixed ice cream into coffee, it makes it even better. It get, makes it gives it more of a creamier kind of uh, a creamier kind of uh, texture. Really good. It's delicious, too. Adds a lot of flavor. Just a little bit. Not too much. Trying to, you know, watch that fat and such. The girl happily takes the money that was offered and puts it inside a small fanny pack she was carrying under the under her apron. All right. May I take your names, please? Shuichi Urata and Yuichi Miyamaya. Her smile widens and she nods at us energetically. Oh, the student council president. Thank you for dealing with our little issue with the chemistry club. It was driving us all insane. I didn't really do anything. It was the whole team. Regardless, thank you so much. It's gotten a lot more a lot more pleasant after those fumes stopped invading our kitchen. Now, if you two could wait outside for a few minutes, you'll be called in shortly. Thank you. We we'll, we'll leave the girl to be and lean against the far wall of the corridor. You, you really have to stop this habit of trying to pay for everything. Hmm? I don't try to pay for everything. Besides, what's wrong with me treating you? You're constantly pushing Junkun in to let you pay for his stuff. Well, that's different. Why? Because, I mean, uh, we, uh... He... Uh, don't try to change the subject. Wow, your skill with words rivals that of the bards of yore. Very moving speech indeed. Shut up. And thus common... And thus... And thus commandeth mean liege. Mine liege. Please don't try to imitate a bard's flowery speech. Mimicry, how dareth thee slander this humble minstrel with thine foul lies. I swear to God, I'm going to ditch you. Oh, I'm also... I'm, con I'm half convinced most of the stuff you're speaking is gibberish. It could be. I don't really know. Hell, I'm not even sure what I was saying. You're a dork. Sure I am. Chuchi leans closer to me, putting a hand on my shoulder and whispering into my ear. But I'm your dork, so you should get used to it. Mm. I see. We're going to start with the next class. Will people please enter the room as I call out your names? Once we're inside, I get a good look at the kitchen. I think the only time I'd, I'd been here before was when a class rep borrowed the place so she could prepare her nasty concoctions during her pitch for the festival. All the pans are shiny and neatly stacked. Every kitchen island has a supply of fresh produce, meats, and all other kinds of products required to cook. <clears throat> I'm surprised just how neat and organized this place is, considering they apparently have been hosting multiple cooking classes a day. Whoever their president is, they must run a pretty tight ship, so to speak. All right. I want every pair to man an island. Every island is fully equipped with an oven, gas burners, and enough counter space for the duo to work on. The instructor, a, a busty deer with a pair of round pink... Oh, my, a busty deer... The pair of round, pink framed glasses we're wearing a laced apron stands in front of the class. Her own counter is flipped from ours so she can access all features while looking at us. The lesson will last for three hours. During this time, you guys will learn to prepare a three course meal. Here are the dishes we'll teach you all to make. She wastes no time in beginning her explanation. Grabbing her chef's knife, she pulls out a whole chicken and begins to carve it as she speaks. First, we will work on our chicken. We'll extract, it from, we'll extract from it all the meat we'll need for the appetizer in our entree. Gripping your knife like this, you'll make an incision here and here. For what it's worth, she is very thorough in her explanation. She points out a few sheets on each of the counters containing the recipes we'll, we'll be preparing today. Chuichi and I both put on a couple aprons that were provided to us by the cooking club. Both are white aprons, very plain too. They don't have any flower patterns like the instructors. Hey, you look pretty cute with that. Heh, <laughs> thanks. How about you get started on that chicken? Me? Alright then. I leave Chuichi with the task of carving the meat. Just because I'll work on the other stuff in the meantime, and I doubt you can screw up carving a chicken a, a chicken carcass. Let's see... Wow, these dishes sound fancy. Yeah, what are we going to be preparing? Let's focus on the appetizer first. A wild mushroom and chicken breast... A chicken breast brogue. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> on top of an Italian bread toast. R ragu? What's that? I've never met... I've never met... Oh, a ragu, okay. I've never made it before, so I'm going to go with... Uh, be going into this blind, too. It's supposed to be a really thick sauce that's usually paired with pasta or bread. Yeah, it's really good, too, if you make it right. Mm. Oh, coffee's almost done. Awesome. That sounds pretty nice. Oh, wait, according to the instructions, we're going to have to make fresh pasta dough for the entree. Since that will need a few minutes to rest, I suppose I should get, get to it first. Ugh, that means I'll have to leave Shuichi to do a bunch of stuff while I prepare the dough. 
Okay, um, I'll leave you to carve the chicken and slice the mushrooms and vegetables. Just make sure you stick to the recipe, okay? No fun little additions. Oh, I was already thinking of ways I could spice this up and improve it. Let's just stick to the recipes, okay? Besides, the ingredients we're provided are measured for the exact recipes. If you try to change them, then something will have to go without. Hmm, that's a fair point. I want to ruin one recipe to make another one, make another one better. I think you'd mean ru you'd ruin two recipes. I'll get to work on the pasta dough. Be careful with that knife. No problem. Have you ever made pasta dough before, by the way? Um, not really. This will be a first for me, too. Heh. <laughs> Do not try to screw it up. I don't want to hear that from you. Let's see. I need to measure out the ingredients here. It seems pretty simple. 100 grams of flour, 100 grams of semolina, semolina flour, and two eggs. Pretty basic. I'm surprised it doesn't call for any salt in the dough. I guess that's because it's already, it'll already absorb the salt while cooking in the water? By the way, what's the pasta dough for? Are you going to make spaghetti? No, the entree is supposed to be a chicken alfredo with squash ravioli. Man, forming these is going to be a chore. Chicken alfredo with squash? We're just going to be preparing western foods? I thought we'd do Japanese stuff. I don't think people would pay for a masterclass where they learn to cook stuff they already eat, uh, eat at home every day. Fair point. I make a flour well inside the bowl and pour the two mixed eggs into the center, just like the recipe says to. I don't think I've needed a dough of any kind before, so I'm a bit wary of, of dunking my hands in there. I start off by mixing it with a wooden spoon until it forms a shaggy dough. When it gets too hard to keep mixing in like this, I give up and decide to go by hand. The feeling of it sticking to my fingers is certainly... weird. The instructor goes over everyone's counters, Checking up on their progress and giving them tips on what to do. That's... That's good. Don't be afraid to really get in there. Don't use your fingers so much. Use the bottom part of your palm to gently push the dough down and away from you. Yeah, like that. It's actually much harder to knead it than I thought it would be. It's not super difficult or anything, but for something made out of just flour and eggs, I expected it to be soft like putty. I'm gonna get started on the mushrooms now. You've already carved the chicken? It didn't take that long. It mostly came apart on its own. I look over at a station to check on his progress, and that's... Um... Instead of getting clean pieces of meat out of it, he completely mangled and shredded the chicken. There are even a few pieces of bone still protruding from the meat. Did you even pay any attention to her explanation? Look at your chicken! It looks nothing like hers! I mean, I didn't see the point in spending so much time to get nice-looking pieces when we're going to shred them anyway to use in the dishes. The point is that you're supposed to be a learn learning a skill here. Man, that's overrated. How often am I going to be carving chicken in real life, anyway? Why did you ask me to come here if you had no intent to do the things right? By the way, what's the difference between a wild mushroom and a regular mushroom? No wonder. I see he's obviously not, not even a bit interested in actually learning stuff. What if I told a really ridiculous lie about it? Would he buy it? Oh, um, huh. Is that going to have big implications? I hope not. Alright, coffee's finished. I'm properly fueled. Okay. Uh, let's do a truth. Mm. Nah, I shouldn't mess with him like that. I don't think he—I don't think he'd be upset if I gave him false information. He believes it. He could end up parroting it back to someone and being embarrassed. They're usually mushrooms foraged in the wild instead of grown specifically for sale. The kind you'd find in the woods or whatnot. Oh wow! I thought you weren't supposed to eat those. Aren't they poisonous? Some can be, which is if, which is why if you're foraging by yourself, you need to be super careful. I'm pretty sure these were foraged by professionals and then sold to a market. That's what. Then what's the difference from regular store-bought mushrooms? Don't ask me, I've never used them before either. I thought you were really savvy on cooking stuff. It doesn't mean I know everything. Alright, I need to get to chopping these. Make sure you cut as much of the stems out as you can. You only really eat the eat the cap. Really? That sounds like a waste. With most mushrooms, the stem is very chewy and fibrous. Not very tasty and the texture is kind of bad. Oh, yeah, wouldn't want that. That'll I'll, I'll be sure to cut those out. Oh, hey, your dough is looking pretty good. It's really round and kind of shiny. While we were talking, I continued to knead the dough as best I could. It took me a while, but I managed to come all together into a cohesive ball of dough, which I'm really proud of. The recipe says to let it rest for 30 minutes before I can open it and fill it up. In the meantime, I'm gonna start on the on the I'm gonna start on the ragu since you already finished the chicken and the mushrooms. Sure, feel free to. Just tell me what to do next. Can you chop the mushrooms? Can you chop the onions, shallots, and uh, garlic while I work on this? Happy to. <coughs> Oh, I, was loud. I toss some butter and oil into the skillet, mixing in the mushrooms and making sure to saute them slowly. Mushrooms take a while to cook, or at least the regular market variety. I don't know how long these take. Well, at least the good thing is that cooking overcooking mushrooms is very difficult to do. I make sure to stir them constantly while adding a few more knobs of butter as I go into keeping it from keeping it dry. To keep it from drying out. Once I think they look about done, I add in the shredded chicken, the minced garlic and shallots, some red wine vinegar, and some balsamic vinegar as well as salt and pepper. 
Wow, that's a lot of cream that goes into this recipe. Together with the Alfredo, we're probably gonna have a heart attack all this cream and butter. Just hoping we don't die from it. Oh wow, that smells really good. Yeah, I'm supposed to cook it down until it gets thick and creamy. Oh, can you cut the bread into, into slices so I can toast it in the oven? Sure, I'll be done with the squash in just a bit. Things have been going much smoother than I thought they would. Suchi's been being really well behaved, all things considered. Have you looked at what he's doing? Have you looked at what he's doing? <laughs> I thought for sure he'd be trying to sneak weird things into the food, but he hasn't done hasn't done so much as peep about it the whole time. This is really nice. Cooking right next to him and working together, it's relaxing. Wow, this bread is a bit stale. Some people believe stale bread makes it for better toast. I think they're both the same, and if the bread gets too stale, then it just becomes unsalvageable. Why does it get stale in the first place? Like, how does it work? True. I don't know all the science behind it. For the most part, it just loses moisture as it ages, which causes it to become hard. By the way, a neat trick you can use to make the bread again is if it's only one or two days old is to, is to wet all of it just a little bit under a faucet and then put it in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. That actually works? Yeah, it rehydrates the bread and softens it up at the same time as it becomes warm. When you pull it out of the oven, it should be dry and steaming when you cut it. You'll just need to flip it around in the oven once or twice, so it definitely works. Huh. I can use it in the future, then. We throw a lot of bread out in the house because, because some days Dad just doesn't feel like eating it. Yeah, it's a good way to get that steaming hot loaf of bread, like if you just bought it from the baker, too. Man, that does sound good. Alright, I'm putting the slices in the oven now. Hopefully it doesn't burn. There's a timer right here on top of the table. Just use that. Oh, good idea. Uh, the ragu should be ready in a few minutes. Can you keep stirring this while I start working on the filling of, for the ravioli? How come I'm the only in charge of, pre of, pre of prepping and stirring stuff? I want to actually do some cooking, too. Uh, oh, you do. That's... Uh-oh. Come on. You're hugging all the fun parts. All the ingredients for the entree are already prepared. I can cook it while you stir. That's an idea. Great, I'll get to work on it. Wait, I didn't say I agreed to it. Let's see, it says here to cook the squash in a separate pan until it's soft. I can put that to a boil on the side while I work on the rest. Huh, this Alfredo, thing, this Alfredo sausage doesn't sound very difficult. Yeah, just remember you need to cook it until it's a bit thick, a bit thick since it'll still be used as a filling. Can't be too runny in that situation. Hmm, that's a fair point. Alrighty, I'll just cook the onions and the butter until they start getting golden. I've mostly used breast meat for the ragu. Since the raviolis are the main dish, I thought they'd go better with the hot with the thigh meat. Just make sure to remove any and all pieces of bone once you shred it, okay? Don't worry about me so much, I got this. You have never given me any reason to believe you when you say that. In fact, you being confident about it just scares me even more because I'm afraid you're gonna mess up because you're not paying attention enough attention to what you're doing. Ugh! I suddenly feel a rumbling feeling on the pit of my stomach, and it's not nice. Chuichi diligently stirs and works on his skillet. Since I'm trying to pay attention to my ragu, I can't really keep an eye uh, keep an eye on while he on him while he does that. I'm just praying nothing goes wrong. Hey, I have a technical question. Yeah, well, what is it? How do I know when the How do I know when the onion and butter are done? Wait, you're still stirring onion and butter together? Yeah, I said to stir it until golden, but the butter kept turning browner, so I waited until it got golden. Look over to a skillet and... It's a mess. Dear God, it even smells weird. How did you manage to do that? It's way overcooked. You burned the butter. Just put this in the sink and start again. Oh, really? I thought I was doing so well. Chuichi, if you're having questions, just call the instructor. She's doing rounds and helping people, but she can't know you need help if you don't ask. I'm gonna pause it right here. Oh God, I can't wait to see how this monstrous thing turns out in the next episode. <laughs> Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!